Hello and welcome to this new video. Um, on the day I release this, the Romford Upminster line, a uh, short branch line in London, will become 140 years old. Or 130? I'm not sure, actually. Anyway, at the beginning of June. Um, it's a short branch line with an overall length of about 5.4 kilometers, which I have also built in TWS. So I thought, why shouldn't I show you this short branch line? Um, we'll be driving a class 315, which operated on this line until a few years ago when they were replaced by one single four car class 710 train which is related to the 345s operating on crossrail nowadays um former tfl rail anyway i think i'll just start the run button okay button inside this is romford change here for national rail services this train terminates here. Please take all your belongings with you. Well, this train just arrived here. Obviously, we continue on to Upminster, so it doesn't terminate here. But still, that let's start the train. Battery. Driver's cap activated. Or key, or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> the lights. Lights activated. Train doesn't have a pantograph switch. Interesting. I have to fix this. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we operate using overhead wires today, so yeah. The horn. Forward. Acknowledge the AWS. Release the brakes. Release the brakes. 32. Wait for all 16. the passengers to board. Oh, there are quite a few actually. 353. Damn. This train's full. 959.4. We have about a minute. Next signal, yellow in 14 meters. A yellow signal, which means caution. So I guess there's a train in front of us, which isn't realistic, like, at all. But, yeah, who cares? I don't. <laughs> 959.29. Okay, half a minute. Doors closed. This is a London Overground service to Upminster. This is actually a normal procedure on British trains, that most drivers and guards tend to close the doors about 30 seconds before departure. 959.57 As we did just now, and now... The speed limit is 60 km per hour. 7 no. Signal, yellow, 15. 22. 29. 37. 44. 50. Yeah, this short line runs from Romford, which is on the Great Eastern Main Line a bit east of Stratford to Upminster via Emerson Park, which is our next stop. And no, it's not spelled like okay. Amazon, the big shipping company. Um, it connects to the London, Tilbury and South End Railway at Upminster and also to the district line, which terminates here. The London, Tilbury and South End comes from Fenchurch Street via West Ham, East Ham and Barking Speed and continues on to Shoe Green S. So, yeah. It's actually a rather useful connection, I think. Because otherwise, if you wanted to get from... Hmm... 1,500 meters. Let's say... Speed limit change to 50 kilometers per hour in 1500 meters. Yeah, okay. Seven kings to Upminster. You'd have to get a 
Crossrail train from Seven Kings to Liverpool Street and then take the district line train back out to Upminster. Doesn't make sense, does it? Speed so, to yeah. In you can 1, just take this meters. small shuttle service, which is operated by London Overground, by the way. Outside. Next station. 47. Front. Back. Buffers. In front of the train. Speed limit change to 25 kilometers per hour in 800 meters. 1,000 meters. Speed limit change to 50 kilometers per hour in 1,000 meters. Inside. Speed limit change to 25 kilometers per hour in 600 meters. 49. And a bit of information on the class speed limit change 315. Speed to 50 kilometers per hour in 800 meters. 750 meters. Um, I don't want to start breaking. Speed limit change to 25 kilometers per hour in 800 meters. Speed limit. Meters. 33. Um, 25. These trains were built in the early 1980s by British Rail, actually, who are somewhat notorious for building bad trains, but the 315s weren't bad at all. So, yeah, they were based on the Mark II body shell, if I remember correctly. I just had to confirm the speed limits using the AWS. Speed limit change to 50 um, km per hour in 400 meters. Yeah, they were built by British Rail Engineering Limited, or BIEL, and used meters. GEC engines and also a few others interchangeably. The they are four car sets formed of two driving Tra uh, driving motors and two trailers in between. One of them carries the pantograph for 25 kilovolts, 50 hertz overhead wires. Oh, nice, the signal screen. So, yeah. They operated until 2022 when they were finally taken out of service and replaced by 345s and 710s. 75 on the routes I mentioned before, the London Overground routes from Liverpool Street and this route here, and also the Crossrail. Is 30 Since, yes, they actually meters. operated on TFL Rail until it became Crossrail and the central section opened. And I'm breaking away too early. Zero. Doors opened. This is Emerson Park. Yeah, now we're here. 10436. 10409. We're kind of a bit late, but. 318. 327. 25. Yeah, we'll be finished soon with boarding the passengers. We still have 2.9 kilometers close. ahead of us. Romford. Change here for national rail services. This train terminates hmm. here. That's interesting. Please take all your belongings with you. One. Four. Next signal, green. Twelve. Thirteen. Twenty-one. The speed limit is fifty kilometers per hour. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go. The speed limit will change. Oh, the hell. Yeah, I was speeding just now. Hopefully the manager won't see it. But I don't think he will. <laughs> 500 meters. 51. So, yeah, this line here, I don't remember who built it exactly, but 49. I think it was an independent company as usual, and it probably got taken over by someone. Meters. Yeah, also as usual. <laughs> so, yeah. Today, the trains running here are operated by London Overground. Um, C2C operates the London, Tilbury and South End Railway and on the Great Eastern Mainline. 
At Trump, the main list of trains operated by TFL, so Crossrail. And yeah, Greater Anglia also operates a few trains there. The district lines operate obviously operated by London Underground, so Speed yeah, limit change to 40 km nothing per hour unusual in about that. Meters. I'm just letting the train cruise along. We're slowing down a bit, but that's fine actually. Then the speed limit of 40 is coming up anyway. And oh damn! Okay, we're late. Doesn't matter. <laughs> we are the only train on this line, so who cares? <laughs> Besides, it makes the video longer. So yeah. Outside. Speed limit change to 40 kilometers per hour in 1,000 meters. 43. Speed limit change to 40 kilometers per hour in 800 meters. 1,000 meters. 40. Inside. The current temperature is minus 5 degrees Celsius, it is cloudy. 39. The highest temperature is 2 degrees Celsius, the lowest temperature is minus 5 degrees Celsius, the current wind speed is 15 km per hour in driving direction. Speed limit change to 40 km per hour in 600 meters. 750 meters. And a cold here. 40. Speed limit change to 40 km per hour in 400 meters. Then driving without automatic speed regulation today 500 meters since i don't think the 315 had this actually so yeah <laughs> speed limit change to 40 kilometers per hour in 200 meters 40 300 meters 290 meters then there we are at upminster Which actually wasn't always the eastern meters. terminus of the district line. They once, more than a hundred years back actually, ran a train service to South End. So, yeah, you could actually literally take an underground train out to the beach. National Rail Services. This train terminates here. Please take all your belongings with you. The next station is. The brakes are already released. Doors opened. This is Upminster. Change here for London Underground District Line 2, Richmond, Ealing Broadway, Kensington Olympia and Wimbledon via Tower Hill and National Rail Services. This train terminates here. Please take all your belongings with you. Yeah, so. Backward. Driver's cab deactivated. That's our trip for today, I say. Driver's cab activated. Brakes applied. Driver's cab deactivated. So, now the train's also braked. Zero. Zero. Yeah, everyone left the train. Nice. Doors closed. This is a London Overground service to Upminster. Just closing the doors. <laughs> so, yeah. Status monitor deactivated. I hope you like this short video. Um, any feedback and constructive criticism you can write below in the comment section or you can also join my Discord server or my Patreon page if you want. Links can be found in the description below. Um, yeah. Anyway, looking forward to hearing from you and I wish you all a nice evening or morning or whenever you're going to view this video. And yeah. Have a nice day.